Oh, I got you through the grind, it's on the rise Through the store and I can feel it It's slowly coming back to the core of good music Back when letters was written, the shit was different It wasn't the debates, if a bar was actually written I'm gonna be creative I think I got the hat originally um, when I auditioned, yeah, um, and somebody, that jacket was my own jacket, and I've, I, I'll say it on camera now, I've got a feeling it was either one of the producers or the makeup lady that took my jacket, and I've not seen it since, um, and I'd love to get it back, if somebody's got that jacket, I've got a feeling it's either wardrobe, or it got left behind, it got left behind in the car, I think one on the, on the, the rap party at the end, I think, it got left behind, so somebody's got that jacket, so it was my own jacket that. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. Uh, but I think I've got my hat. Um, the trainers with me, we all the just trainers I had and stuff, but um, it's funny because I've got a t-shirt in the car, which was, um, because originally, um, we all, in that car park where, we, where we, I met you before, the, end, the last day of filming, we all stood around and clapping, having different things, and we all got a t-shirt to pad his face on, and it was originally because they were toying with the idea of being called Dog All Together. Oh, really? That was that was yeah. it, and our T-shirt says Dog All Together with the dates on the back of the film. Yeah. Um, and we was like, what does Dog All Together mean? And it was like it's gone tits up, it's gone pet. We say like back in Manchester, it's gone tits yeah. up, it's like yeah, shit's hit the fan kind yeah. of thing. And that's the saying down here, isn't Dog All Together or something? So I think Paddy and Shane have come up with that. And then it's interesting, Paddy did a short film then called Dog All Together, didn't it? But I think there is. I think it possibly, and then we heard that oh, no, it's been changed to Dead Man's Shoes. Like, all oh, right, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Which yeah. again meant meant to be, wasn't it? Yeah. Well, the poster behind you there, that's that's oh. originally Paul's art. Paul oh, is it? Yeah. Did he bring that to the shop? Yeah, behind yeah. it often. Yeah. Again, because that's quite rare with us on it as well. The three yeah. of us on it, because yeah. a lot of the other ones they were taken off, weren't they? That's it. Yeah. Because um, I've got one at home, a big one at home, and it's, we're missing on that. Yeah. Just got Gary with the gun. All oh, right. Yeah. That's a great thing though as well, isn't it? It is awesome. Yeah, I've not seen that for a long time. Yeah, it's got some good illustrations in it. Yeah, spot on. Loads of extra scenes as well. Me with my long hair, man. Jeez. That's a few yeah. years back. <laughs> Suitcase. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, some good stuff in there. Yeah, I love to have a box of that after, man. It's brilliant. Because yeah, you never see him get killed on it, do you? No, no. So that's, that's obviously how it happens. Yeah. Again, I think different things are going to be... Um, we try different things out, different scenes and different different endings and different scenarios, yeah. you know. I think um, I think I think the very end of the film, I think I don't know whether they were initially they, they didn't know whether Paddy was gonna live and stuff yeah. and then it's like no he had to, I think Paddy came up with the idea he's, he's gotta die, he can't yeah. he can't, you know, he's got to get his come up and see what he's done. Oh, yeah. You know, even Definitely. though it's kinda of justified mm. he's come back for events but you know he's, he's he's done some bad things like yeah. he says he's done some bad things, he can't he can't walk away from this. Yeah. So he, he wasn't I don't think he, he could have left that place. A brilliant ending, a big, really? big twist as well. Yeah. It for the first, I'd love to see it again for the first time. Yeah. But when he, when he realised Anthony wasn't actually there with him, it was shit. I've only, I think when it first came out, um, the amount of people that saw it, I think it was only one person I ever met, or maybe two, that said, I got that straight away, because even we didn't know. Really? I think it was three quarters of filming, and we started to think, I think we said to someone, like, is, is he. Uh, and he didn't let us know. He was like, no, 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 I'm daft. But we started to think, because mm. initially he didn't tell us yeah. it was going to be, you know, yeah. Because yeah. um, we filmed it as if he were, you know, I mean, he was here, yeah. you know. Um, and obviously the Gary scene and stuff, he was in them scene, so we filmed it as if he was. Yeah. Obviously, you know, so, um, yeah. yeah. It was a bit of a twist for us as well. <laughs> yeah. <Okay. laughs> and when was the last time you watched it? Watched it? Um, A year ago, I think, mate. Yeah, I still enjoy it now myself. I can watch. Yeah. It's strange because I can watch it because I'm a fan of Shane's, mm. fan of Paddy's work and stuff like that. I can actually watch it without thinking I'm in it. A few takes, okay. um, and I think because um, again he used to try and. Uh, I think the iconic line where he goes, what you're looking at, mate, you, you, I think he, he used a few different words no, to see what reaction he'd get, yeah. yeah. Um, one of them, I can't remember what he said now, he just come out with this, you, you, went into all this, and I just burst out laughing, do you know what I mean? So, yeah. um, <laughs> he just, 
it was a provider to see it throw different they called me all kinds of names I think um, I think the word he used was the one that was kept in <laughs> but that was the very first first scene of the film which yeah. filmed yeah oh wow yeah. yeah it was a good it's not a nice word but it's a good word to use in the scene and yeah, get the, that so sort of it, shock factor as well. it's, I think that's what it is it's, apparently you're only allowed to use it twice in a film okay. um, but I think and I'm sure it does offend some people don't offend me as well but, it, um, but it, it was it was right because um, you then think oh here we go yeah. what it, it sets a tone to the film what's, you know what I mean what have these guys done you know what I mean I'm just a guy walking in oh I'm yeah. doing some drugs and you know, just a you know whatever young kind of lad but what has he done what has he done yeah. so it sets it up doesn't it you yeah. know to call somebody that yeah. you know and not flinch you know yeah. when I'm supposed to be like the hardest lad around me kind of walking around drug dealing everyone's kind of watching at me and then there's some strange in the boat there just like calling me that yeah. you know um, that's what the lads say, didn't they? What did you do? Just walk out, you didn't do anything. You're not hitting, man. You've got to do, you know, it's, it sets the film up, doesn't it? Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it was good, lad. Yeah, it was good. Very Move for Romeo Brass, is, yeah. I think, up there with, it's up there with Dead Man's Shoes for me. Um, had his performance, mm. and uh, even Little Shimmy, you know, it's, yeah. Uh, yeah, it's, uh, and just, just the funny, oh, just, I can still, Absolutely, piss myself laughing at that. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it really is. Yeah. Um, I love the virtues. That was really, that was amazing. Um, yeah. yeah, I think it's this. It takes some topping. I must admit. I mean, I can say it as as a, as a fan of it myself. But um, I love this as um, the virtues and also uh, yeah. 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 good documents on Stone Roses as well. That was all right. Oh yeah, so that, that was all right. Yeah. I, went, I went to um, I didn't go to the premiere, but they did like a live um, showing around the country, and they have like a um, live, live broadcast of the premiere as well. It's, it's, it's oh yeah, cinema. they did, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I went to that. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It was, it was, it was, it was, it was it a link up to the concert? It's some gig as well. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's cool. I, was yeah, right, I went to see him at Manchester, he and Park, when they were United. Yeah, yeah. so good. That was yeah. Yeah. I've always wanted to see him, but when I was when I was younger. I was too young to see him when they split up, was it? So I've been waiting for a long time to see him. Well, it's weird, when I was in Corrie in 89, 92, I used to knock around with roses and stuff, and oh, I know really? Manny, yeah. yeah. And um, odd enough, Paddy's, Paddy's band were awesome, riding them along. Yeah. One of the last times I saw them up in Stockport, Paddy's were gigging at a place called a Blue Cat Cafe, mm. and Manny was there to oh, really? you know, watch him and stuff like that, yeah. yeah. Badly drawn boy as well. Oh, wow. Not, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've seen uh, riding low quite a few times. Great man. Yeah, Mega, really yeah. 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 I was supposed to party the other day and he can't wait to get back out gigging. He's, he's desperately. Mm. I think we've got some record, an album coming out or something. I think we've got another album coming out. Yeah. Um, and he, he was doing a, I think we were doing an interview yesterday about the Download Festival on Instagram or something. That's right, yeah. He was doing a bit of a yeah, chat there or something. Yeah. yeah. Uh, but he's the same as me. He wants to, can't wait to see some gigging and stuff. Mm. Mega band. Mega. Oh, yeah. Really good. Really good. Yeah, I used to love that thing. Did you, mate? It's one of the first things I did as a kid, that, yeah. 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 What, 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 was your part what, Yeah, one of the like football lads. Oh, really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of the team lads, yeah. But, um, oddly enough, a mate of mine I'm talking to at the moment, Julie yeah. Foy. She was an actress in it, and um, she's now a film producer. Mm. Um, she was in that as a kid as well. She went on, yeah. He was on it when he was 15, 16, one of the first TV films yeah. I did that. Good theme tune as well. Yeah, I, love I remember that. it, yeah. yeah yeah, and the, the, he was a Geordie guy. The, 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 yeah, the, uh, the, man, the, the manager. Yeah, I can't yeah. remember his name. I mean, that was all filmed in Manchester. What was yeah. I was, yeah, BBC yeah. Manchester. Oh, wow. Yeah, Texas Giants. I don't know if there's any on YouTube, any episodes or not. I think there is an unclick. <laughs> yeah, I've seen something. Yeah. I'm sure somebody sent me one saying, Is that you, mate? Yeah. And I've been dressing. Yeah. 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 I used to love that. Texas Giants. <laughs> That's the last one, the first. <laughs> Not sure to be fair, man, because of all the, obviously this lockdown situation and things. Yeah. I mean, I've got mates who work on the soaps and stuff, and they're um, they're starting back now and stuff like that. I'm, I'm talking at the moment with a you know, producer and stuff at the moment, not doing a film. Yeah. Um, so hopefully, fingers crossed. But I think it's they're working out because mm. it's some filming this year and some next year. I think they're working out um, how it can be done at the, yeah. at the moment and stuff. Oh, so, okay. um, so hopefully, and they're not. In the near future, I hope yeah. to start working something. Oh, yeah. Okay. Um, but 
you never know what's around the corner. Yeah. Have you done anything that's not been released yet? Yeah, I did a film last year called um, Pebble on the Boy. Mm. Um, Patsy Kensett's in it. Oh, yeah. um, it's kind of a Paul Wellers. Paul Wellers gave the title track Pebble and the Boy, and it's okay. it basically about this guy's this young lad's journey. Mm. He loses his dad, and his dad was a big mod fan and Paul Weller fan, and it's his journey of kind of honouring his father, and he ends up coming from Manchester and goes down to Brighton to Paul Weller gig, um, and uh, him and his uh, him and his girl kind of the bond between them two. It's um, mm. so it's not even though and. Um, they filmed it up near where I live and the, the scooter fraternity turned out we yeah. wanted to do a funeral scene and so we put the word out on social media anybody want to turn up with a, with a mo you know with Lambertas and stuff yeah. fantastic literally hundreds and hundreds yeah. turned up for it mate yeah and I remember stood there watching this scene um, just this funeral scene just oh, yeah. fantastic wow. yeah um, but even though it's not really a, a film about the kind of modern stuff it's a it's a um, it's a journey film about life mm. and about these two young kids really. Yeah. But there's Paul Weller's music in it, and I believe Paul Weller's give three three of his songs to it, which I, I heard. It's a pretty rare thing to do, yeah. you know, for an independent film to do yeah. three uh, Weller songs. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that's that, that's two out anytime. Pebble and yeah. the Boy, yeah, I think it's a Facebook page and stuff like that. Okay, so it should be good, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that should be good. There's a few other people in it as well. Yeah. I can't remember now, but. Um, Sasha Parkinson, the other girl in it, who was in Coney Street. Right, okay, yeah. Um, yeah, cool. Good point. Yeah, I've done it since since I started um, acting, mate. I've done it yeah. since I was about 16, yeah. Um, I've always sung in bands and things like that, so I've, I've always done it. A bit like Paddy, I think, you know, I, mean, that's, I think, mm. in the story where Paddy and Shane first met, they were in a band together yeah, and stuff. Yeah, I've heard that, yeah. Yeah, down at Nottingham, photography, and they were doing stuff. And similar yeah. to me, I always played in bands, I always sung in bands, mm. always gig with, like, guitarists and stuff. Yeah. Um, and years ago, the story is, um, I left Corrie, and I wanted to do some music, and we had some songs recorded, and we hit a few major record labels, RCA and some of the big ones, and we was doing really well, because of, because of my profile in Corrie, the doors were opening a little bit, yeah. um, and we came really close to getting a record deal. And then we decided um, we'll do it ourselves, mm. and we set up our own record label. And I recorded an album. Um, the single "Too Many People" was given to me by a guy called Russ Ballard, who wrote "Since You've Been Gone," Rainbow, a famous song. Yeah. Um, he gave us that because he knew the producer I was working with. So we did a video for that. Um, started promoting that. Start to record the album. I think got three quarters of the way through, um, and the guy put the money up. A million pounds, like a million pound record deal. This, he put a million pound into the pot for us. It just got cold feet, um, literally, and it just absolutely it kicked the wind from us. You know, it really did. It's like because I put a bit of my own money into it as well. My manager at the time, he left. He left his kind of job. He was running an acting agency and he left it to go with me. Yeah. There was a couple of guys from Granada TV that kind of came away from there no. and started doing publicity for it and stuff. So, and I would do things like I'm doing shows with boys to men and oh, really? Ed, yeah. So yeah. it was it was getting somewhere, and then the, the rug got pulled from us. So, and ever since then I've kept, I've always been singing. I've been always been singing in pubs and clubs and, yeah. and bars and wherever I've gone to Germany doing bits of tours with bands. Um, so this album is, is like it's come full circle. And what it was, Phil, I, I, on my stag do last year, um, me and my mate hooked up again. Who was a drummer and a songwriter, yeah. and we just started this conversation off. And, Right, okay. I'd love to do some songs again. Like, oh yeah, I'd love to do some songs. Should we start? Yeah, come out to our house, see what you've got. And just started from there. Um, and we're good friends with the producer Stephen Boyce Buckley, who works at Lisa, Lisa Stansbury Studio in Rochdale. Yeah. Uh, and he's produced a couple of her albums. Okay. He got us in yeah. uh, 10 months ago, last September, and we started recording. And it's, it's, it's due out tomorrow. Due out tomorrow, the 3rd of August, mate. Yeah. Wow. So you can get it on iTunes. And I did an interview. Yeah. I think a couple of days ago on Radio Lancashire up where I am. Oh, yeah, I that, so yeah. yeah, so we're just putting it out there, mate. And we've got no no expectations of what will happen yeah. with it, mate. Because it's just it's just an album. Mm. Funny enough, I saw somebody on, on top of me up on Facebook wall last night saying I'm a fan of um, <laughs> saying I'm a fan of uh, well, I'm a fan of I'm funny in the Dead Man's Shoes, mate. But your music's dog shite, and that made me made me kiss. <laughs> I thought, oh, nice on tears, mate. Your missus took it off, by the way, pal. Oh, that's why. Um, I see it, right? Yeah, yeah. Your missus got it off quick. Um, but fair enough, mate. Yeah, it's. Um, 
it's, it's whatever. It's, we love it. Um, and oddly enough, I've just spoke to um, Badly John Boy on the way down, and he's just done us a quote of the album. He loves it. Really? He's just done a quote, and I'm, I'm going to be putting that on social media t tonight when I get home. Um, so, yeah, we love it. Man. We're really proud of it. Um, especially in lockdown as well, because we got three quarters of the way through the album and we had to stop yeah. because of lockdown and stuff. So, I think we had one song to record and we had to master it all and it was like, oh man, can we get in and do it? Yeah. Um, and gradually, it's just been let down and we've been able to go back in and finish it. Yeah. We finished it literally a month ago. Right. We've just come back, it's literally come back from Holland two days ago, the album, we've got it. Yeah. Um, uh, yeah, it's on the list tomorrow, I think, on StuartWolfenden.com. Yeah, okay. So people can buy it from there. Yeah. It's on iTunes and all the places they're on. Yeah, yeah. Um, and it's a good album. Oh, I don't care what you make, says Don't stress. <laughs> yeah, I think I saw you do like a live um, on your driveway or something, a live stream on your on outside. Oh, that was on the street, mate. Yeah, that was um, that was when we was in proper lockdown. Yeah, we had to all uh, doing all the social distancing. Everyone was in the bit in the garden drinking beers. Yeah, yeah gig from the street. I think just to keep morale up because I'm, I'm, I'm I gig in pubs at weekends. Always have done. Yeah. I've done that for about 25 years. Um, I mean, I've not gigged since March, so um, yeah, I dragged on the PA out to the street and um, yeah. woke the neighbours up, mate. It was all right. Yeah. <laughs> did, did he look, did, did he want to ask some questions, guys? Sorry, mate. You've, these have travelled the furthest, they've come all the way down from <laughs> Sterling, mate. Well, the character of Herbie, uh, did Shane tell you exactly how he wanted Herbie to, to be, or did he allow you to improvise the character of it? Just say it, Phil, before, I mean, it was improvised, but we, we, we'd. Um, yeah, it, um, we were here for two weeks before we started filming, um, kind of building the film really, uh, developing the, the lads and, and, and kind of um, who was the, the hierarchy within, within us and stuff like that. So um, the very first scene, the whole film, the very first day of film was this scene of lots in here. And, um, Shane and Harry were in the hallway there with the monitor watching. I remember I walked in and did it. And I walked back out and they were pissing themselves laughing. Yeah. Going, oh, be like your Manchester watch, you know, all that kind of stuff. That was great. And initially, I was going to be the first one to die in the film. Um, and I think we saw what was happening in my character, which was being developed. Mm -hmm. And him and Paddy said, oh, leave him to the end. He's got, he's got to suffer in. And I thought it was funny, you know, like that. I, 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 I would like, um, I was the one that just meets him, but we should see Paddy. And I was going back to him. I've just seen him again in the life. Yeah, so, you know, it was that. So they, they like that kind of thing. So, um, no, it was, I mean, it, there's a lot of me and her, there's a lot of, it's, it was in the film, you know, even though know, we were scripted and, and worked on it every single, we start off with the scene, we build it, and some scenes were quicker to do that than the other. And Shane wouldn't start filming until he was happy with where the scene was going to go, you know. And things changed throughout the I think it was three and a half weeks shoot here, four, just short four weeks we, got, we put the film together here. Yeah, really, for a film, for a film with that kind of stuff, yeah. Um, that was literally one take, just one take, that was what we seen. Just done, it was real, and just um, and stuff like that, and just, yeah. And just, uh, um, so yeah, but there's a lot of me in here, a lot of me in that, and, and um, yeah, it's quite funny, it's going to be the first one to die. Yeah. 
If I stay like clay, if I stay like clay, one more day like clay, you can never hurt me again.